there's also this idea of being able to just in real time recognize the text in the background and then make that globally searchable throughout. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. This does not happen in the PDFs. So don't think that when you're writing in a PDF that it's going to be searchable natively because you're writing there. You can convert a PDF into a note file. And if you do that, if you use it as a template, then you can globally search. But any note that you have, if you use the real-time recognition note, becomes searchable. So if we go into that search function again, and then we pick handwriting, and then let's just pick test two. So test two. That comes up, and we... So there we go. And so it found that actual note where we had, it was only one result. So it had to go through all of those things, all of the different notes that I've taken for a long time. And it was a specific thing that was only written that way once. Kind of surprised it didn't pick up the test or other pieces. Uh, but again, there it is. So it gave you, and I can press on that, and it even highlights it for you to say, okay, you're on this page, and see, there's where it did. So it picked it up twice. You'll notice it picked it up here in the header, and it darkened that, and it picked it up here. Now, I am surprised that it didn't pick up test anywhere else, because I know I've written that word more than once. As a matter of fact, there it is. But it didn't pick either of those up. So it may be that depending on how you write it or if it's enough of a string of characters, that it will be very specific. The other day when I did it, like for the word testing, because there was no space in between test and ing and testing, it picked up both words. So maybe the spaces help you to be able to pick up strings of words in a specific way. That's worth some further testing, but I just thought it would be interesting to, to let you know that.